हेलो जी स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज देविंदर कौर एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल द इनलाइट एंड रूम इन दिस वीडियो वी गन स्टडी अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंटल वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ ओम्स ला सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट विद द वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट एज यू कैन सी एफ थ्रो ऑन दिस इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट हेयर ऑन द बोर्ड एंड वी विल फर्स्ट स्टार्ट स्टडिंग अबाउट दिस वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट बिकॉज these components will help us to know better about the ohms law so let's get started with the battery we have a battery here well the battery is used to draw the current in the electric circuit here is the positive terminal of the battery and here is the negative terminal of the battery then comes to the rheostat well rheostat is a kind of variable resistance variable resistance that means we can change the resistance which will result in the varied amount of current that means if we increase or decrease the resistance then there would be the respective result of the current okay so then comes the key well you know what is the purpose of key when we plug in the key the battery would start conducting uh, start Uh, making the current and the current will start flowing from this electric circuit then comes the ammeter well ammeter has a symbol of a here and there's uh, there is also a here well these two a's are very different from each other why this ab is like a symbol of a resistance wire here okay this a b denotes a wire but this a denotes the emitter that is connected to our electric circuit well what is emitter emitter measures the current measures the electric current that is flowing in the electric circuit this emitter is kept in series with this resistance so that it is easy to get us to know about the current because the amount of current that is flown through this resistance would be same as the amount of current from here that is flown from the ammeter now one more thing about the ammeter is the positive terminal of the ammeter is connected to the positive terminal of the battery similarly the negative terminal of the ammeter is connected to the negative terminal of battery okay now this is all about the ammeter let's move on to this resistance you know that resistance is the one that opposes current that obstructs the way of current the, that obstructs the flow of current this is resistance and this ab is the resistance wire and with this ab we have a voltmeter connected here now what is the purpose of voltmeter voltmeter measures the potential difference across this resistance wire this resistance wire ab so this voltmeter is kept parallel to the resistance so that it is easy for it to measure the potential difference okay so if you can arrange the equipment then you will have to uh, arrange the whole apparatus in this manner that means we'll have to keep the ammeter in series with resistance and you will have to keep the voltmeter in parallel with resistance now again just like in ammeter the positive terminal of voltmeter is connected to the positive terminal of the battery similarly the negative terminal of voltmeter is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so this is all about our various components which are used various apparatuses which are used in this electric circuit to verify our ohms law now to let's move on to the our the topic that is ohms law well when you switch on this key or you can say when you plug in the key the current will start flowing through the battery now you know the direction of flow of current is from the positive terminal of battery to the negative terminal of the battery 
right so here would be current going in that direction like this this is how the current will flow from this electric circuit okay now as the current is flowing through this electric circuit now this current will first pass on to the resistance that means to the voltmeter here then to the emitter then to the rheostat so that means when we change the amount of current here when we change the resistance here in this rheostat there would be change in the amount of current flowing through this battery and then what would happen there would be change in the readings of on the voltmeter and ammeter what do i mean when you have just plugged in the key when the current has just started flowing this circuit from this circuit what will happen there would be some change in the readings there would be a, a constant reading here similarly here after some time when you have plugged in the key and the current has started flowing let us say there is 0.545 amount of current flowing in the voltmeter we have a potential difference in the voltmeter we have studied and there is 5 ampere current flowing from the emitter when we have just plugged in the key and this reading has been constant after some little bit of variations that means it may go have 4 6 4 7 then again came back to 4 5 and then similarly it would have gone 5.1 4.9 or then again came to the 5 this is how the readings would come to the constant then when you change the amount of current from this rheostat what will happen there would be change in this reading there would be change in this reading as the current increases my dear students the potential difference the reading of the potential difference on the voltmeter also increases similarly as the current decreases there's a, a decreased amount of current there's decreased reading in the uh, emitter here as the current decreases that means there would be a decrease in the reading of the potential difference in the voltmeter so what does it explain it explains i is directly proportional to v this was what we had studied in the statement of ohm's law now let us study the result of ohm's law in the result of ohm's law we had studied that v equals i r right that means we can see v over i equals r and this r was constant that means v over i is a constant correct so similarly when we have changed the readings in this rheostat when we have the change the resistance in this rheostat there would be change in the readings of voltmeter and emitter if the current increases the potential difference also increases right and by the ratio this current increases by the same ratio that potential difference would increase and that value came out to be a constant similarly if the current decreases by the same ratio the potential difference would decrease and then again it would come up as that constant the same constant so that means we have proved that v over i is constant this is what we had studied in ohm's law because this r is the constant of proportionality okay so this was all about the verification of ohm's law when and one more thing you can explain it you can verify it if you have arranged the equipment my dear students what will you do you will take various readings we will keep on changing the resistance here with the help of rheostat and you can take five six seven or even ten readings of this voltmeter and emitter here and when you will draw a graph i versus v 
you will get a straight line here like this you will get a slope of straight line like this and if you can if you guys can arrange it if you guys can do it at your home then please share it with me through instagram or facebook okay so this was our topic the experimental verification of ohm's law see you in the next video and for more videos like this for more uploads like this subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thank you so much